Hello everyone, I hope you're ready to experience a little bit of winter magic with me today. Today, let's talk about the magic of the first snowfall, a moment that never fails to bring a sense of excitement and wonder, no matter how old you are. There's something truly special about seeing those first delicate flakes drift down from the sky, quietly transforming the world around us. Overnight, familiar streets and parks are covered in a soft white blanket, muffling the usual sounds and making everything feel peaceful and new. Whether you're a child hoping for a snow day, eager to build the season's first snowman, or an adult pausing to admire the beauty from your window, that first snow brings a sense of wonder and nostalgia. It's a reminder of childhood joys and the simple pleasures of the season. Across the United States, the arrival of the first snow is a big event. It marks the true beginning of winter for many communities. People talk about it, post photos, and share their excitement with friends and family. For some, it's the signal to dust off skis and sleds, or to gather friends for a playful snowball fight in the yard. For others, it's simply a beautiful change in the landscape, as autumn's last leaves are gently covered by a fresh layer of snow, creating scenes that look like they belong in a painting. The first snow connects people, even across great distances, as everyone looks out at the same magical scene. It's a shared experience that brings neighbors together, sparking conversations and smiles, even among strangers. But have you ever wondered why some states see snow weeks before others? Why do some cities wake up to a winter wonderland while others are still waiting for their first flake? The U.S. is huge, with many different climates and landscapes, from the towering Rocky Mountains to the rolling plains and the sunny southern states. Winter arrives in its own unique way in each region. Winter doesn't start everywhere at once. Some folks are bundling up in heavy coats as early as September, watching the first flakes fall in the northern states, while others are still enjoying warm, sunny days well into December, with no sign of snow in sight. The journey of the first snow is like a wave, starting in the high mountains and gradually spreading across the country. It's a fascinating process shaped by geography, weather patterns, and even ocean currents. In this video, we'll travel across the nation and through the calendar to see when and where the first snow falls. We'll visit the Rockies, the Midwest, and discover how each region celebrates the arrival of winter. We'll even explore those rare moments when the South gets a dusting of snow, turning palm trees and city streets into unexpected winter scenes. And, along the way, We'll learn what measurable snow really means and why it's such a big deal for meteorologists and weather watchers alike. So, grab some hot chocolate, settle in somewhere cozy and get comfortable, because we're about to explore the story of winter's first snow together. It's a story that unfolds differently all across this great country, but no matter where you are, the first snow always brings a little bit of magic to the season. You'll often hear forecasters talk about measurable snow. This isn't just a few flakes that melt instantly, it's snow that sticks and can be measured. Officially, measurable snow is at least one-tenth of an inch, about the thickness of two credit cards. It's the difference between a fleeting flurry and snow that covers the ground. This standard helps us keep accurate records and track climate trends year after year. Anything less is called a trace, just enough to notice but not enough to count. So. When you see that first light coating on your car or lawn, you've officially received measurable snow. This benchmark lets us compare winters and predict weather more accurately. Next time you hear about the first measurable snow, you'll know it's the real start of winter. It's the first true sign that winter has arrived. Have you ever wondered why the first snow of the season seems to arrive at different times depending on where you live in the United States? While some people are bundling up and shoveling driveways in October, others might not see a single snowflake until well into January. The timing of the first snow varies widely across the U.S., and there's a fascinating science behind it. This difference is mostly due to our country's incredibly diverse geography, which shapes local weather patterns in unique ways. Two main factors play the biggest roles in deciding when snow arrives, elevation and latitude. These two elements work together to create the patchwork of winter weather we see across the nation. Elevation refers to how wide the place is above sea level. The higher you go, the colder the air becomes, because temperatures drop as altitude increases. That's why mountaintops are often capped with snow, even when the valleys below are still green. For example, 
mountain peaks in Colorado or California can get their first snowfalls weeks or even months before the lower valleys and plains nearby. The difference in elevation creates a dramatic contrast in when winter truly begins. Latitude is another key factor. It measures how far north or south you are from the equator. The farther north you go, the less direct sunlight you receive as winter approaches, causing temperatures to drop sooner. That's why northern states like Minnesota and Maine often experience cold and snowy weather much earlier than southern states like Texas or Florida, where winter arrives later and is often milder. Cold air masses from Canada sweep down into the northern U.S. quickly, bringing early snow to cities like Minneapolis or Buffalo, while southern cities remain untouched by winter for weeks longer. Typically, the first snow starts in the high mountains and northern states, then gradually spreads southward and to lower elevations as the season progresses. It's almost like watching a slow-motion wave of winter roll across the country. This slow cascade of cold air and snow transforms the landscape, turning forests, cities and fields into a winter wonderland, one region at a time. So, while your first snow day might arrive in October, someone living just a few states away could be waiting until December or even January to see their first flurries. Ultimately, it all comes down to where you live, your local geography, elevation, and latitude all combine to decide when winter truly begins for you. And that's the secret behind the timing of winter's arrival, an intricate dance between the land, the sun, and the cold, shaping each region's unique snowy story. While most of the U.S. enjoys late summer in September, winter arrives early in a few places. The highest peaks of the Rockies, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, Utah, often see their first measurable snow this month. Ski resorts above 10,000 feet can get a dusting or even a significant coating. Meanwhile, cities like Denver may be sunny while nearby mountains are blanketed in white. Fairbanks, Alaska, also sees its first snow in late September, thanks to its far northern latitude. For these communities, early snow is just part of life, shaping routines and expectations. Sometimes, this snow melts away as warmer weather returns, a brief preview of winter called Indian summer. But it's a clear signal. Winter's on its way. It's the first chapter in the story of the changing seasons. In October, the first snow spreads beyond the highest peaks. The Northern Rockies, Upper Midwest, Great Lakes and parts of the Northeast often see their first measurable snow. Cities like Denver, Salt Lake City, Minneapolis and Marquette can expect their first flakes. In the Northeast, Vermont, New Hampshire, and upstate New York are prime for October snow. Around the Great Lakes, lake effect snow can bring heavy sudden snowfalls to cities like Buffalo and Erie. October snow is a clear sign the season has turned, cold weather is here to stay. The ground cools, making it easier for snow to stick and accumulate. The last colors of autumn meet the first white of winter. For many, October marks the true start of the snowy season. The countdown to winter is on. By November, winter takes hold across much of the U.S. The air turns crisp and the first hints of frost appear on windows and lawns. People dig out their warmest coats, scarves and gloves, bracing for the months ahead. The anticipation of the season is felt everywhere from city streets to quiet neighborhoods. The days are shorter, the sun is weaker and cold air pushes farther south. Shadows stretch longer in the afternoons and the warmth of the sun feels fleeting. Even in the middle of the day, a chill lingers in the air, reminding everyone that winter is here to stay. Major cities in the Midwest and Northeast, Chicago, Detroit, Boston, New York, often see their first measurable snow. Streets transform overnight blanketed in white, and the familiar cityscape takes on a magical, quiet beauty. For many, this first snow is a moment of wonder, a signal that the holiday season is just around the corner. A Thanksgiving snowfall is a festive treat, signaling winter's arrival for millions. Families gather indoors, sharing meals while watching flakes drift past the window. Children rush outside to play, building snowmen and making memories that will last all season. In the West, Lower elevations in cities like Spokane, Washington, also get their first snow. The surprise of early snow brings excitement and sometimes challenges, as communities adjust to slick roads and new routines. The Plain states from Nebraska to the Dakotas are now firmly in winter's grip. Winds whip across open fields carrying snow and creating drifts that reshape the landscape. 
Life here adapts quickly, as residents prepare for the long, cold months ahead. The landscape shifts from autumn browns to winter white, marking a new season for the heartland. Fields that were recently golden with harvest now lie quiet under a blanket of snow, signaling a time of rest for the land and its people. November snow impacts daily life, commutes, travel, and the economy. Roads become slippery, travel slows, and cities mobilize to clear streets and keep people safe. Businesses and schools adjust schedules and everyone learns to move a little more carefully. It's a reminder that nature's schedule still shapes our routines. Mornings start earlier, with scraping ice from windshields and bundling up children for the walk to school. The rhythm of daily life shifts, guided by the demands of the season. By the end of November, winter is no longer a distant threat. It's here. Neighborhoods and parks are transformed, and the world outside feels quieter, softer, and somehow more connected as everyone faces the cold together. The first snow is now the norm for a huge part of the country. From coast to coast, communities experience the shared challenge and beauty of winter's arrival, each adapting in their own way. November truly ushers in the American winter, wrapping the nation in a blanket of snow and anticipation for the months to come. December brings the promise of a white Christmas to even more of the country. The first snow continues its journey south and west, arriving just in time for the holidays. Cities like St. Louis, Cincinnati, and Washington, D.C. often see their first flakes in December. Even a light coating is a big event, marking the official start of winter for these regions. The chance of snow on Christmas becomes a favorite topic, adding to the holiday spirit. In the West, lower elevations in Oregon and Washington can get their first snow, and even Albuquerque, New Mexico sees snow on desert plants. By the end of December nearly every snowy region has seen its first measurable event, only the warmest southern and coastal areas remain green. From September's mountain snows to December's holiday blankets, the transformation is complete. It's a four-month journey that brings winter's beauty to millions. In the South, snow is rare and magical, a surprise visitor, not a seasonal guarantee. States like Georgia, Alabama and Northern Texas may go years without measurable snow, but when it comes, it's a major event. Even a small snowfall can bring cities to a standstill and spark excitement. The coldest months, January or February, are most likely for Southern snow, but December surprises do happen. Farther South, Places like Houston or Central Florida see snow only once in a generation. It takes a perfect set of conditions for snow to reach the ground in these warm climates. The contrast between snowy north and snow-free south highlights America's climate diversity. Wherever it falls, snow brings wonder and unforgettable memories. The story of the first snow is really many stories, unfolding at their own pace across the country. It starts in the high Rockies in September and spreads, painting the nation white by December. Elevation and latitude drive this beautiful progression, showcasing our climate's diversity. Each region's first snow has its own meaning, whether it's a regular event or a rare delight. The first snow connects us to the seasons and to each other, no matter where we live. So when your first snow arrives, take a moment to enjoy the quiet magic of the season. And that's the weather for now.